Greetings folks, I've been asked to take a look at this Adobe Audition file to remove this sound. Understandably, they get very... So we've got a bang there and we want to try and remove that from this recording. Okay, so the thing we need to do is just double click on this clip and that will open this up in the waveform editor. Now, what I want to do is make this window big because this is our spectral display. If you can't see that, okay, that's sure, you can click up here to bring it in or simply just go to the bottom and drag that up, okay? I'm going to drag it all the way up because I just want this window. So what we need to do is try and identify where that noise is. So first of all, we've just played that back again. So it's around here. And as I scrub through, you can hear it's, it's around there. Boom, there it is. Okay, so let's, uh, let's hit the plus key and zoom right in. Let's zoom all the way in, going really far in there. Okay. So there's, there's our sound. So uh, what I want to do is try and find out exactly where that sound is. And I can do that. Let's just use the marquee tool up here. Because, um, let's see, it sort of starts... You can hear it there. So it's, it's around here. So it kind of looks like it, it's maybe this chunk here. So let's just draw around that. Let's make a selection. Okay, let's try and get all of that in. And I've got my loop on at the bottom here. So if we just play that back. Okay, that's our sound. So a few things I could try here. First thing I'm going to do is go into the effects and I'm going to try the sound remover tool. Okay, I'm going to, here it is, noise reduction restoration, learn sound model. So I'm going to click on that. And then let's go into the effects again and sound remover. Okay, so if I just play that back. Okay, it's, can we take that off? Put it on. It's there, but a tiny bit, you know, and I can enhance the speech perhaps. So it doesn't cut any of the voice out. I can maybe do more refinement passes. There we go, it'll just take longer but hopefully do a better job. Okay, little little noise there, but that's probably all right. I'm going to apply that. Now play this back. Oops, I just need to uh, press G there to uh, remove my selection. They get very... Okay, now it's just a little tiny sound that you'll probably never notice listening to it for the first time. Okay, so uh, when I go back to my... Uh, wait for a multi-track editor. They get very worried. There you go, you just got this little, and I could try and paint it out a little more, but I think that would be fine. It's not a big bang anymore. It's just a little background sound. So the trick is, with things like this, is to go into the uh, spectral display, zoom right in, okay, and try and find the sound. Okay, and you can select a region and then just play that region back and see if that region is just the sound that you're trying to remove. And then you can use the sound remover tool or you can even just, um, let's just undo that. Okay, so it's back. Guess who's back? Shady's back, Shady's back. There we go. They can. I could even just kind of maybe take this even simpler and just go to here and just reduce the volume of that section. Okay. They get very well. Again, um, it's a tiny little sort of thing you can hear there. Just tiny. They get very But it's pretty much gone. All right. So a couple of ways there. But really what it's about is the great thing about Audition is you can zoom right in on the sound. You can see it in this spectral display window. And that means you can really just identify where the sound, where the problem sound is and try and just work on that section 
by either reducing the volume or using the sound remover tool or the noise remover. There's lots of tools available in Audition depending on what type of sound you've got, but there's lots of really great ways to, to clean up your sound, especially when we jump into this window where we can really see in detail that the sound areas. Okay, and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>